We reviewed the burden of group B strep infection in our neonates in our local area and found that it was at least twice as much as the national burden of infection. And this had been continuing for the previous five years. So we felt that we had to look at an alternative strategy to prevent these infections. And the national guidelines, based on risk factors, was clearly not working for us. The GBS screening program, um, we implemented that at the end of February 2014. Um, it's a screening program uh, that we offer all our women here at the hospital in maternity unit. It's a screening that looks for group B strep, which we call GBS. Most of the women know it as GBS. And it's a simple test that's done, but we usually talk about it at booking. So a woman will come along around eight to 10 weeks of pregnancy, and we would offer screening uh, for GBS, but she won't actually have the screening until she's around 35 weeks. What that entails is um, two swabs that's taken, one vaginal and the other one's an anal swab, and the woman has the choice of either the midwife or the healthcare assistant assisting, or the woman can actually do that, perform that task herself. Once the swabs have been taken, they are um, identified as her swabs, they are sent away for processing, and she usually gets the results back in about a week's time, and the midwife would actually inform the mother of her results. And if the woman's results are positive, then we will discuss with her about offering her antibiotics during her labour when she comes in. So, during my pregnancy, midwife explained me that if the positive, if the result will positive come, so in the labour they will offer you antibody. So I had the appointment, so they give me a swab test. So I did it myself and give it to the midwife and then they sent me the letter, so my result was positive. It was a bit scary, so I told midwife and when I came to the hospital during my labour and uh, I told I got a positive result and um, they gave me antibiotic two doses. Yeah. So yeah, it was, it was helpful and I'm pleased I did it. It's good for my baby and good for me. If women get a positive result, they should go for the antibiotic. They shouldn't take a chance and uh, have a healthy baby. Don't take a risk, nothing wrong, nothing harm. Uh, since this uh, project has been introduced to our hospital, we haven't got any GBS bacteremia diagnosed in our patients, neonates, regardless whether it has been premature baby or term baby. And uh, what I would say, we are very happy with the pathway created thanks to this project. The results of the pilot project demonstrates that the early results are promising and certainly is encouraging us to go on with the strategy. It has demonstrated that the strategy is feasible in the United Kingdom, is widely accepted by the mothers and the midwives and the neonatologists. But to be absolutely conclusive, we need to run this program longer. It needs to be replicated in other organizations to demonstrate that this is a strategy that should be the national policy rather than the current risk-based policy.